Welcome to lecture 9, Declaring Constants. So let's start off with what actually a constant is. A constant is simply a storage location like our variables are. So remember, our variables are a named storage location. So constants are still named storage location. The only thing with a constant is that the value of a constant cannot change once it's set. So once you set the value of a constant, it cannot change. And I'll show you that when I do try changing it, it will actually give me an error and saying that you can't change the value of a constant. So how do you create a constant? It's really simple. You just use the const keyword, C-O-N-S-T. This just says that if you put this in front of a variable declaration, that variable will basically be constant, and you will not be able to change the value of it. So if I say constant int my const int equals 5, let's say, the value of 5 is now constant. Now, throughout the rest of the program, anyone who tries to change this will get an error, so you're not allowed to change it. So if I try to go my constant equals 6 later on, you'll see I get an error, and that's because it's constant. You cannot change the value of a constant. So constants are used throughout the whole framework and the C-sharp language. Um, I mean, they're really useful for when you want to define pieces of data that obviously remain constant. So one example that Microsoft actually uses is they have the constant for pi. So pi is never going to change so that's why they put it into a constant variable and then you can use it anytime you want but you can't change it. To access pi, let me put this back. To access pi we simply just say math dot pi. So pi, and you can see that this is a constant. If I try to change the value of it to something, it's not going to let me because it's a constant. But I can still, I can still use it. And I can display it to the console math.pi. So if I run that, you'll see that the value of pi is shown. So pi in this case is an example of a constant. This is a perfect example for something that you may want to make constant in your program. Things that do not change or should not change, you should make it constant. So that's the basics of con uh, constants, but now there's another type of way that we can use constants, and they're called using enumerations, or enums. Um, so by definition, an enum is simply a group of constants. So let's say you have many constants, and you want to group them together, you could put them into an enum, and the benefit of doing that is that you can basically create a a nice naming system that to use them and, and it really makes sense. For example, if we had a enum for the days of the week, we could make an enum that says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We could put these all into an enum and then we can attach a value. We can say, okay, Sunday is zero, Monday is one, and so on. If I didn't use an enum and I wanted to like use something that can interact with the days of the week, I don't have to say, okay, use day one. But I wouldn't know, okay, that, that's Sunday, Monday. I wouldn't be able to know that. It would be hard to remember it. So an enum allows us to set this up. And if I want Monday, I can just say days of week dot Monday. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's go ahead and create an enum. So how we do it is, so the syntax of creating an enum is simply the word enum followed by the name of the enum. So in this case, I'm going to call mine days of week. Because I'm going to be making an enum for all the days of the week. I then add these curly braces. This indicates that anything inside of them is a part of my enum. And my enum is going to be made up of Sunday, comma, Monday, comma, Tuesday, comma, So, as you can see, I actually separate the, the values or the separate constants of my enum by commas with an enum. So, they're all listed in there and then they're separated by commas. So, now the values of each um, constant in it simply starts at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, I can change them. I can say, okay, I want Sunday to start at 1, for example. And then Sunday will be 1, Monday will be 2 automatically. Or I can go through and actually set them all to whatever kind of values I want. Leaving them default, however, will make Sunday 0. Um, 
so like I said, now the benefit of doing this is that anytime I want to actually um, use the days of the week, I don't have to say, okay, Sunday is zero, one, two. I don't, I don't have to remember that. So it's then I can just actually get at it. So I can see, I can create new variables of type enum. So for example, I can say days of the week today equals whatever day today is. We'll just make it up. We'll say day of week dot Friday. So the benefit of this, I can say, I can make a variable called days of week today, and I can set it equal to an actual word, days of week dot Friday, rather than saying, okay, maybe today equals five. This makes more sense, even though behind the scenes, this Friday is really equal to uh, a five or whatever it is. I can just say days of week dot Friday. So if I print out the console today, I'm going to see that Friday. So let's go ahead and do that. Print today. So it's going to show the name of the actual e um, constant in the enum. Now, if I want to get the actual value from it, so I can say, well, Friday is 5 or whatever, I can just cast it to an integer. So I can say int number of today or something equals an int today. So I'm taking today, days of week, I'm casting it to an integer. And now if I display the number of today, in the console, we'll see that it's a five. So we have Friday and five. So I can, I can always get the internal data of it just by casting it to the, the data type, which is by default an integer. So using enums is just a good way of when you're dealing with lots of constant pieces of data that, that work together, you can use an enum to group them together so that it makes sense when you write code. So it makes more logical sense saying that today is day of week that Friday rather than saying today is uh, five. So Friday makes the code easy to read. And when we start getting into more complex code, like using if statements and things like that, um, using the enums really does help and it makes it clear to read. So that is it for this lecture. In the next lecture and the last lecture, we're gonna be taking a look at console input. So we're gonna learn how that we can, this whole time we've been just writing to the console in that lecture, we're going to take a look at how we can read in from the console and see what the user types in so that we can get answers to our questions and things like that. So we can ask the user a question, and whatever they type in, we can get that and store it into a variable and, and do things with it.